the big contract signing. So now, remember every once in a while on wrestling down through the years, you'd see the big contract signing. And, and so that, w- that was good. And usually something happened to juice the match up and everybody, you know, sometimes would remember it for a while. How many contract signings on WWE and AEW television have we seen in just the last three months? Every week there's a contract signing. Is there, they, we rely on, we rely, they rely on the same five things over and over again. So this one's tween hangman, Adam page and twinkle toes, McFinger bang. Twinkle toes was wearing a purple suit with white socks. Looked very pleasant. It's the old mix up again. Do you want to go to Cox's and get a seersucker suit? Or do you get mixed up and go to Sears instead? But they were trying to, again, tell this story. We were friends. We were partners. We were family. And there was more about Adam Page's failures and sorrows. And I was, at at that point, looking at the crowd and go, you know what? These people, they actually bought this phony, goofy, wimpy backstory that they saddled poor Adam Page with, which must indicate the difference in generations from 20 years ago when a guy that has been booked and presented like Adam Page would have probably been pulled into the crowd and cuffed around about the head and face and kicked out the back door by the fans for all of the sorrow and loss and failure and mopiness and everything. But somehow, is that what is it just that this generation that the comedy wrestling appeals to is wants people that are sad and morose and mopey and flawed and wishy-washy and whatever the fuck? I can't answer that, but as I'm sure we'll talk about tomorrow when we record the pay-per-view review, that what we said a while back ended up being correct. That Adam Page is being booked to be a fall-down drunk and that his life only comes back together when he gives up alcohol, and it appears that's exactly what this is. (laughs) Anyway, Paige speaks well. It's not him, it's just the material. But at least he had some confidence here. But then, of course, Twinkle Toes offers a handshake. Adam Page accepts it. And right at that point, did we refer to this two or three weeks ago on the program? And I thought they listened, so they should have been taking notes. Maybe Tony didn't have people in his legal department taking notes of our program, or they could have avoided stooging off their angle angle. The handheld cameraman in the ring for the contract signing walks across in front of the shot of the other handheld man. Did you see that and instantly go, okay, here we are? Or did you just think it was a production fuck up? As soon as I saw a cameraman, I thought it was an angle. Well, I mean, well, I know it was an angle because it was a contract signing, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And so Twinkle Toes and Adam Page shake hands and Twinkle Toes goes to step out of the ring and the cameraman from behind nails Page with his camera and it's Don Fallis. And he unmasks and they could have done the same thing by going to the hard camera wide shot post to post right for the cameraman to start charging because then nobody would have been able to see it ahead of time coming, but everybody would have seen it when it happened and would have been surprised by it. But they had to tease, oh, here, watch this cameraman, and then they cut to a shot, the cameraman is not in, so he comes out of the shot to hit Paige with the camera, but they'd already showed him, obviously. If they'd have made it look accidental by going to the hard camera shot, post to post, and he just happened to be in it, and boom, would accomplish the same thing, but they had to fucking show us. Anyway, Paige gets juice a little bit at what we used to call in the locker room a pap smear. But it was enough where it was running down where Twinkle Toes could sign the contract in Adam Page's blood, which I'm not sure. We might need to consult with Stephen P. New, but I'm not sure it would hold up in court against a legal challenge. Why not? Well, because, first of all, he was signing it in blood and not black ink, which we know black and blue ink is preferable for contracts, but also because it was completely illegible. It wasn't really a signature. It was just a smear of blood. However, he... So he could claim it was forged. He's on video doing it and stating that his intention was to sign the contract with 
the foreign substance that I agree with you is not black or blue ink. I think I think we have an argument on our side. Well, I don't know. I think we're going to have to call Stephen on this because, you know, for one way or another, if this is not legal, I think we should nullify the result of the pay-per-view match. Because for heaven's sake, we can't, I mean, you can't have a, a an illegal contract signing for a world championship match in AEW and have it signed in blood and and not challenge that legally. Well, that was... I would, I would, think, I would think Phallus. Phallus would come up with that. Well, maybe, and you guys... Phallus would come up with a transition if he was here right now, I bet. But I'll just I'll just say this. Boy, Don, I remember when you used to have a full head of hair. There it is. I remember when Don Phallus used to have a full head of hair, and right now, what he's got is slicker than a hard-boiled egg. But folks, Very it nice. doesn't have to Very be that nice. way. Yes. Did you know, did you know, Brian, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35 years old. And since Don is past 50 now, it's gotten extreme. More than 50 million men in the United States suffer from male pattern baldness. And there are only two FDA approved medications that can prevent hair loss and keeps offers the generic versions of both of them. So not only do you not get get jacked out of all of your money, the treatment started just $10 a month because they offer the generic versions, but they offer the only ones that are approved by the FDA. Is that the Food and Drug Administration, last time I checked? I believe so, yes. Well, it ought to be Food, Drug, and Hair Products Administration, FDHPA, because they're approving these hair products also. Folks, if you want to keep what you've got, use keeps because you can reverse the trend that you're on currently. You'll not only keep the hair that you've got on your head, but you will see slowly and gradually those other ones peeking out from underneath the soil up there on top of your head and springing into the daylight and the sunshine thanks to the folks at keeps. Convenient virtual doctor consultations, medications delivered straight to your door every three months so you don't have to leave home. Discreet packaging, proven results, more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And as we've said before, seven in the Tokyo Dome. Have you noticed more Japanese people are, have hair than are bald, where it's reversed over here? What? That's because... I have not noticed gets, this, no. It gets more stars in the Tokyo Dome. If you're ready to take action and prevent your hair loss, or if you want to just accost somebody on the street and rub some of this shit on their head because they're going bald, they'll thank you later. Go to keeps.com slash JCE to receive your first month of treatment for free. Keeps, K-E-E-P-S, keeps.com slash JCE to get your first month of treatment for free. What do you think would happen if you just tackled somebody on the street, held them down and rubbed some keeps on their head and, and told them to thank you later. I think you'd be arrested and rightly so. And let's not do that. Of course, keeps is for you and you alone. So Buy keeps, it and use keeps, it. Keeps your keeps to yourself. That's right. Keeps your keeps yeah. to yourself. Don't hand me no lines. It keeps your keeps to yourself. All right. <laughs> 